in the face of these dark moments, particularly since October 7th, I've witnessed some of the best of Pennsylvania. And God bless our fellow Pennsylvanians. The vast, 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 vast majority of them are wonderful, caring, loving, inclusive people. And I have seen, I have seen Pennsylvanians take actions big and small, and both matter, to combat anti-Semitism and to find their power. I've seen it here in Philadelphia, where students raised their voices, where students made sure they were heard in the halls of power at their university and leadership was held accountable. The students did that. We shouldn't have to gather on a rainy day in Pennsylvania to talk about anti-Semitism, but we must. We gather in this season of light, this season of hope, but we also gather, of course, for a very specific person, a purpose, I should say. We gather to call out and condemn the evil, the horrific evil of anti-Semitism. That's where we gather. The evil, the darkness, the venom of anti-Semitism has been with us for a long time. In fact, just last year, I said from October 7th, 2023, incidents of anti-Semitic anti harassment, vandalism, and assault are reported to increase by 388%, as Michael made reference to. That's just, that's just in a, in a uh, less than a three-week period. 388% increase over that period. Then I went on in the letter to say, disturbingly, many of these reports have come from students on college campuses who describe witnessing anti-Semitic graffiti and vandalism and from, from being subjected to virtual harassment and violent threats, unquote. Schools, synagogues, all kinds of 